All right, guys. So day two on the white on a raft or boat, I should say. Um, I'll be honest, confidence not that high. Um, so the water when we got out yesterday was around 8,000 CFS and woke up this morning and it's at 9,000 CFS. So they really haven't released any water. They released a little bit of water last night, which didn't really help us any because we weren't on a boat. So yeah, we're gonna grind through it this morning. I'm gonna throw big streamers, I think, and Andrew's gonna nim some more, and hopefully either he will catch a, um, something interesting like a cutthroat or something, I don't know. Or I will catch a big brown. So we're just gonna grind it again today for another eight hours plus, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, anything that's not a rainbow trout, I will be happy with at this point. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah, yeah. Right now, actually. Rainbow. Any chasers? I was like, no. I looked down. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I lied. They're here. There's another Next follow. You guys come out, you can rent boats from these places too if you guys are going to have the experience taking the rainbow out. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Come on, buddy, eat it. It's a little harder to fish yourself, though. But I think one of I'm getting follows like crazy, which might be a good thing. Can't be a bad thing, right? Oh, God. Oh, I got it. Got it. I'm screwed. I know, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck on myself. Okay, got it, I got it, I got it. We're good. We're good. Yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's a miracle, but. I know it's such a show, too. I lost my line. Holy cow, we did it. I was watching all these dang rainbows. I thought I lost the fish, to be honest. That was horrible. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I know. What was I doing? I was so lost. I was like, I don't know how to fish anymore. I forgot. Yeah, I got you. Hold that. I'm gonna tell you something. Give me one second. I'm trying to get this. Okay, we're good. Okay. Sweet deal. Are you actually recording right now? Yeah. All right, guys. So, first, White River Brown. It took a entire day to catch this fish but we caught it finally it's got a little bit of a hook jaw to it it's not a giant fish it's probably like oh i don't know 18 or so 17 18 or so beautiful fish though so we're gonna get a release real quick and see if we can catch more since this is a good start to a day And just like that, I had done what I'd come to the White River to do. I don't think many people will ever truly understand how much effort I put into that trout. I had fished 10 plus hours on day one and came up almost empty handed completely. I had fished 10 plus hours on day two on a boat and caught nothing but rainbows. So to catch that brown trout at the end um, meant more to me than you'll ever really know. Was it the biggest brown trout in the White River? Not even close. But at the end of the day, it's more about how much effort you put in to catch a fish than it is necessarily the size of the fish. So then, all eyes were on Andrew. He had fished the same amount of time as I had. He put in the same amount of effort as I had. And he couldn't leave the White River without a brown. You're going, I'm going to. Nah, I'll follow through the black and the blue
whenever the mountain will come to the next Honey, I'm with you through life and to death now, That's the problem They're just, John, just try over there, that, that was back and back over there Oh, that one's falling it too, John It's falling this one in Flip it right over there, right that log You tell me you're nervous I think I can get it I'm not even working it really. Just doing a real slow just sit in right there. I'm working it. Yeah, that was a decent bear. I was about to say the one John caught. It slammed. I don't know. Like I saw it grab the streamer, and pulled back nothing on. John, yeah, it was right, right in there, John. That's disappointing. That was it. Got, yeah, it's a better fish. I got a drill on this one. Keep your eyes on this one. Oh, it's a decent one. Pick it up there. Tie it up as you can get it. Yep, keep on rolling it. Keep going. Keep rolling. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good job, man. Come on, brother. Yeah, yeah. finally. Good there job, we man. go. <laughs> <laughs> that thing just. Whatever he has on, it's yeah, it seems off. to be worth That's where one of the world records was caught. It's important to emphasize one because there's many of them. The sign right here that you guys can't see actually has the guy holding the world record. And then Andrew's got himself a solid brown. Right, yeah. Then you can uh, take a picture while you're recording. Yeah, I know. You just hold it up show the folks your first ever white river <laughs> brownie yeah that's a good picture all right there we go well, you, have, you have anything to say andrew other than no, no, not really finally it took a while but yeah that's not a bad one for sure 18 inch brown oh yeah very pretty, pretty fish very pretty fish So at this point, spirits in the boat were at an all-time high. We had both succeeded in catching the legendary White River Brown Trout and in doing so had become completely obsessed with the river and its challenges. But the river had one more surprise.
I got some picks. You gonna say something or? I'm just I mean, gonna... I don't know. That's your, yeah, that's best, your... Uh, best shot of the white. <laughs> so yeah, put far. It, point it, point it towards the camera a little bit. Good. Hey buddy, how are you doing? That's pretty cool, Andrew. Well pretty done. Solid trout. Very job, pretty. Bro. Pretty fish. So just got back to the room. Um, I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the White River real quick. Um, first of all, it's wildly different than anything I've ever fished before. It's, it's different than any river I've ever fished before because there's no real cover in the river. It's just straight current. There's some jetties behind like rocks and stuff, but there's really not that much. And it seems like the fish hide in like um, grass patches. They've been like super, super key to us fishing in this low water conditions. And we actually caught some brown trout today, which is awesome, because yesterday we did, we really didn't do anything that much different, and now we caught three brown trout. So that's freaking awesome. Um, it's a completely different style of fishing than I've ever done. It's more difficult, but there's a lot of fish here, and there's a lot of big fish here. So it's kind of just a thing where you grind it out. I mean, they're not always gonna bite, the water's not always gonna be right. Um, fishing is not always going to be easy. That's just how it is. And like when I'm fishing back east and northeast, um, I go out and don't catch fish all the time. It's not unusual and I just don't post videos about it. But here I'm in the White River and I'm making this video series. I posted a video yesterday of me not really catching a lot of fish because it kind of built the story up, honestly. And yeah, and we caught a bunch of fish. It just wasn't what we were necessarily looking for. And I know that these brown that we caught today, like, for the White River, they're not giants, and they're really not giants even necessarily where I fish back in the east, but still nice fish. And um, huge shouts out to TJ Kessler and his um, guiding service. I'll try to link it all below and stuff like that. It's Finn Chasers Outfitters, and he's an awesome dude, and he put us on the fish. He knew where the fish were, even when we weren't catching them. We could literally see the fish swimming around, and there were some tanks, like, big fish swimming around so he had us on the fish they just weren't biting and yeah we're about to go get some lunch or not lunch jeez that's how tired I am by the way guys my fingers are swollen um, the finger that I used to hold the line when I'm stripping has cuts in it and I have I have, I have calluses there and it still got cuts in it cut through the calluses because we've been fishing like eight plus hours a day stripping streamers which is just insane but we're gonna go get dinner. I'm too tired to remember what we're doing. So we're gonna go get dinner, 
and then we're gonna maybe fish tonight i don't know the night fishing's been kind of rough but we're gonna get dinner and then we're gonna be fishing again all day tomorrow mostly from the bank probably but we'll see so yeah i'll catch you guys on the next white river episode series whatever don't forget to like comment subscribe so you know when all these episodes are coming out and i'll catch you guys on the next one on here is um our, our purpose in fishing the bank here is when the dam lets go of these big flows, it pushes the, the fish from the river channels to the bank. You know, as the river swells, the, the fish go from the, the channel of the river up against the bank and all this structure and these log jams, trees, just any of this stuff you see.